Drivers heading through Interstate 10 at U.S. Highway 29 will soon notice some construction. The Florida Department of Transportation is working to make the interchange simpler for drivers. WEAR's Sade Ray joins us. And Sade, the Department of Transportation says the project will take about six years to finish. Sue, that's because FDOT wants to keep traffic flowing as it works on the interchange. Officials say signs and supplies are already being put up for the construction, and that's, this is all to inform drivers of what's coming. This interchange at Interstate 10 and Highway 29 will soon be a major construction site. Ian Satter is a spokesperson for the Florida Department of Transportation. Many people through that area have uh, spoken in uh, for, for decades about how um, oddly it was designed from an older design standard. So we're looking to simplify that, make it safer. Satter says the reconstruction will encompass more than seven miles of I-10. The $236 million project includes replacing several overpasses and building new and extended ramps and in some spots, additional lanes. We have, I believe, about 62,000 cars travel through that interchange uh, every day. So by adding capacity, we'll reduce congestion and improve safety through that area. He tells me all the reconstruction will happen in phases and include extended work hours. Drivers will see periodically lane shifts as well as intermittent lane restrictions as part of the project. Again, most of the work will be going on in the overnight hours where we will have the least amount of impact to the traveling public. Um, also, we may have some uh, rolling slowdowns through those areas. Setter says the speed limit in that area now dropped to 50 miles per hour for the construction. The project is projected to be finished by the summer of 2030. FDOT is also holding a public meeting for virtual and in person at the Wedgwood Community Center that starts this Thursday at 530. Live in Pensacola, Shadi Ray, WEAR News.